Okay, I'm kind of about to call out all men, sort of. So if that's gonna trigger you or bother you, move along, stick let's around get it, if you're let's go. bothered. I don't really care, just letting you know. So Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday and mm -hmm. I'm a mom of one-year-old twin girls. My older sister is a mom. My mother is the mother of us two and our two other siblings. And I was FaceTiming my mom and sisters last night and we are planning Mother's Day dinner. So we're deciding what we're gonna eat, what time it's going to be. I'm bringing a food assignment. My sister's bringing a food assignment. My mom's preparing the main meal. Why is it this way? Why can men not be better than this? And yes, I love my husband. He's a great guy. He's really trying. I actually think he's trying and we're like progressive. We're like working on this, but yeah, like this is how it is. And my husband's on a work trip right now. My mom's husband, my stepdad, like tore his ACL, whatever. There's like maybe reasons. But if I was on a work trip or my mom tore her ACL, we would still probably be planning it, especially if it was Father's Day. And I just feel so frustrated right now because I feel like not only do women bear so much more of the emotional labor, women also have to bear the emotional labor on behalf of other women when their men in their lives don't show up for them, right? So like, I know if my stepdad doesn't do something for my mom for Mother's Day, I have to step in and do something even more because he's not like taking care of her. And my mom knows if my husband's gonna drop the ball on Mother's Day, then she wants to like take care of me because we want to take care of each other and we want each other to be happy. We would still probably be planning it, especially if it was Father's Day. And I just feel I want to look at this from the husband's perspective for a minute because that's who she's complaining about in her video and his supposed lack of effort to celebrate her on Mother's Day. Per the location tag in her video, she lives in Lehigh, Utah, which is a fairly affluent neighborhood south of Salt Lake City. Now imagine as a husband, you work very hard, you work long hours, you go on work trips like she indicated her husband does in her video, and you right. make other sacrifices in order to provide her the luxury of being a stay-at-home wife and mother. Now imagine after many years of working hard to provide your family with that kind of life, that you learned that your wife has posted a video prior to Mother's Day preemptively complaining about you and your anticipated lack of effort to celebrate her on that day, and the video is seen by almost a million people. What's the takeaway for you as a husband? Are you to understand that because you didn't plan the type of celebration she felt entitled to, that that negates all of the effort you've put in up until now to provide her with the comfortable life that she lives? Mm. Or are you to understand that she's an ungrateful, unappreciative woman who will never be satisfied no matter how much effort you put in, and that there are a lot of other women who would love to take her place and are probably more deserving of your time and energy? Now, I'm not an advocate for divorce, especially if there are kids involved, but if statistics tell us anything, she will be the one to divorce him. Right. So behavior like this needs to be put in check, and women like this need to be held accountable for such behavior. Because if you're the type of woman who will publicly shame your husband for only doing 99 things out of 100, then you're the problem. And I definitely agree with that. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Today, we are going to be discussing how ungrateful women can be. And it's sad to see because even when women get good men, it seems like... <laughs> They're just never good enough. And we'll build up to uh, what you saw in the thumbnail at the end, but I want to show you guys a few more cases before we build up to that. All right, so let's keep it moving. Do the ick. Where do I start? Oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. Where what do I start? What gives you the ick? What gives you the ick? You know, mm. That's a nice question. <laughs> I know. So many things. Um... Music taste is like one of them, I guess. Like some music bad taste. music taste, I just feel oh, like I can. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, hold on. you see, when we're talking, let, let, don't ad lib because it's just noise. Because it, because mm. you know, just let one at a time mm -hmm. in it. Go on, go on, go on. Music taste. Um, someone that can't cook. <laughs> I feel like someone that can't cook. Yeah. Raw. <laughs> can you cook though? No, I think that's why it's an ick for me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that's jokes still. That's jokes. So, so you can't cook, but no. if a man can't cook, then it's an ick. 
You have, do you yeah. see how that might be a bit mad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do see I do see the like double standard. Yeah. But I still You know you, what you said about your femininity and you cut your hair off. Your femininity mm. could be through your cooking as well, still. Mm. Have you ever thought about that? I like to eat though more than cook. Yeah, then you should be like into cooking if you like to eat. Maybe you? one day, maybe one day. Yeah, you should right think now. about like you got the weekend to think yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> <What was that? laughs> If your average man is treated better by women overseas, why do men prefer to stay here and play the game when the odds are so heavily stacked against them? Well, I think it's because it's what they know. And the thing that the United States has going for it is that the money's all here. So we all have to make a living and support ourselves and our lifestyles. So that's the reason, because you end up missing our culture we grew up in when you live in another country. but. I'll tell you what, it's such a different feeling when you're in another country, how great you get treated as a man. So you've been married for 30 years? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Uh, so marriage is getting better with time? Uh, no, it's boring as hell. <laughs> I, I tell my husband, I say, you know you should go out and have an affair so we can fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's retired now. I wouldn't trade him for the world, but... He's very boring, so. He's boring? Yeah, very boring. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, marriages work. You know, you don't come home to the same person that you married 20 years ago. They get a little baller. They get a little slower. They, he listens to the TV really loud. <laughs> I don't know why old black men listen to the TV on 99. <laughs> So I called my friend. I was like, hey, I think he's going deaf. She said, girl, mine is too. <laughs> Where's your boyfriend at right now? Why are you not with him? Um, well, he's with his family because his sister's visiting. His sister's visiting. OK, that's nice. What would you do, say, if he proposed to you today, like a marriage proposal? Um, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I think I would be shook because it's kind of unexpected. I feel so. How about this? How about you turn around and find out for yourself? I don't know what upsets me more about that clip. The fact that she sat up there and denied the whole situation simply because it was done in a parking lot, even though I got to admit the, the creativity of it was pretty original. You don't see too many guys doing what he did and, he, and, and even having the courage to do it for one. Two, this man had the nerve to sit over here and apologize to the people that helped him set it up. And then she had the nerve to say that she was embarrassed. Did any of y'all catch all three of those things? Like my head was spinning when I when, when I came across this clip. I'm like, where in the hell do these women come off? It's it's bad enough. Y'all already complaining about men not even wanting to commit to y'all. But then when you come across a situation where a man is being trying to be thoughtful and think of a creative way to propose to you because he didn't do it in such. No, let me take that back because he didn't do it the way you wanted to do it. It's a problem. This is what I mean, and this is why I played all those clips leading up to this, man, because it's really, really sad to see how ungrateful women have become. And if y'all notice in that clip, they told that boy to get his passport, right? Because I guarantee you, if he would have proposed to any woman out here in Thailand, Philippines, or Colombia, he would have not gotten that same reaction. If anything, those women probably would have said yes in a heartbeat and probably hugged the shit out of it. 
But if you disagree, let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplug Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.